Hello guys, it's me Lunar, welcome back to another Modern Warfare video. As promised, when Modern Warfare released, I would start going over updates and news for the game. The game is out right now, I've played some of the campaign, but it's multiplayer where we have plenty of changes to look over in the day one update. Those are changes made since the beta, and they've been applied for release. If the video is useful then a like is appreciated. As always we'll jump straight in and we'll begin with general fixes and we'll start on spawning in core multiplayer. They've fixed edge case scenarios with spawning on enemies and they've adjusted spawn logic to improve spawn quality. They've also added more spawns to increase your options and they will continue to improve this map by map post launch. To ground war they've added more fallback spawns to FOBs if the flag has too many enemies. Improved safety checking for spawning on squad mates. It's still dangerous, but the user interface will notify you of this. Added spawning on squad mates while in vehicles. Neutral tanks and helicopters now show up in the spawn selection screen. Helicopters now have flares to help manage incoming missiles. If all flags are captured by one team, you'll go into DEFCON to win, so protect those flags. And there's a fix for an exploit that was allowing players to spawn under the map. To Lightning there's one change, they've brightened the characters in dark areas across many maps. For low health visuals, they've brightened up the middle of the screen instead of darkening. For weapon balances, in general, weapons received a lot of love since the beta, and most notably the shotguns and pistols. To equipment, enemy claymores now have larger visible lasers, and reviving a teammate near a friendly claymore could cause the claymore to explode resulting in suicide. To the minimap, now on by default across core multiplayer and ground war, enemy firing does not show up on the minimap unless a team UAV is active. Map zoom is pulled out a bit to help with player awareness. For kill streaks, the FTOL jet adjusted to not target players through rooftops. Fix the juggernaut suit not spawning out of a crate. Another fix was deployed to prevent the mask from staying on the player after you died as the juggernaut unrespawned. And after using the cruise missile, player character models were sometimes stuck in a lean after using the streak. Finally, just some random adjustments. Screen tearing on character and weapon models on Xbox has been fixed. Impact damage of lethals and tacticals and the ammo box were causing instant kills. Adjustments to the descriptions in the gunsmith. A fix for a bug where the wrong input would be shown for players in a party. Fix for a bug where a door could open in the opposite direction of the player's movement. Footsteps tuning of volume fall off distance, mix volume and occlusion settings have been improved. Placing deployable cover on stairs could prevent teammates from being able to mantle or crouch under blockable paths and that has been fixed. Various audio tuning and fixes for executions of weapons. And finally, players were able to spam the crouch button while moving, creating a snaking effect and that's no longer possible. If you play on PC, there are some PC specific changes and I will quickly go over them. Crouch and prone transition animations have been smoothed out. Add sensitivity options now save. Double tapping the stick now always triggers the tactical sprint when using a gamepad on PC. Fix blurriness in various situations. Ping widget is now showing the correct latency. Added depth of field options. Added HDR support. Added Nvidia highlight support. Global performance improvements and fixes. Adds transitions animations have been smoothed out for higher FPS. Adjusted stand to prone timing for keyboard and mouse versus gamepads. Players no longer lose sprint functionality by holding down sprint keybind and the move keybind while respawning. And the field of view slider setting reverted to default after loading into the map. Guys, that is it for this video. A full list of all the changes made to the game since the beta for the day one release. I just wanted to go over the patch notes so you guys know what changes there were in the update. I'll be back soon then with more news and info as we get. Like and subscribe for updates to sure games including Modern Warfare as they happen. Have an awesome day and I will see you all in the next one. Peace out. <laughs>